What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got new Digimon cards that we need to be having a little bit of a chat about. We've got a new Super Rare, and it's one of those ones we were waiting for, and one of the ones which, frankly, I think it might be worth getting a little bit excited about. We need to be having a chat about Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode, but also a bunch of others as well. I should mention that the translation here does come from the lovely folks over at DigimonCard.dev. We like DigimonCard.dev. Those people are cool. Oh, and Ensan Gaming. Those people are also extremely cool. So, what do we got? We got ourselves a level 3 Vmon, 3 cost to play normally, 0 cost to Digivolve, 1,000 power. That power is extremely low, tells us the card might be good. While we're here, hang on a second, a red Vmon? That seems weird. And secondly, hey, he's playing a Digimon TCG. That's really cool. So what we've got here is when you play this, by trashing a card of Imperial Digimon in its name, or a card that has three in its traits from your hand, you may draw two cards. Drawing two on play is great. Now, you do have to trash a card from your hand in order to do so, but any card with three in its traits will be fine. It's not always going to work. You're not always going to want to. But drawing two cards is awesome. You then have an inheritable skill on your turn. While you have a purple Digimon in play, you gain an extra 2,000 power as an inheritable skill. And as we've seen before on many occasions, this is good. Having an extra 2,000 power is good. It's not something you see all the time. It's, it's something which, I mean, don't get me wrong, right? There's plenty of them out there. I'm not saying you don't see it. But I'm saying that an extra 2,000 power generally comes with some kind of condition. Except for Greymon, I suppose, which gives you an extra 2,000 power. The one from BT1, that is a very good card from the starter deck. Most of the time, there, there's some kind of condition attached here. And you know what? I like this. And if you haven't guessed, we are going to be working up to dual color red and purple here. So it shouldn't be much of an issue, honestly, to get up to having a purple Digimon in play and getting that extra 2,000. So yeah, we like Vmon. We've then got Flare Dramon here, or Flame Dramon as it is in English. And we've got ourselves just a red Digimon. Just red, nothing but red. Five cards to play normally. Two cost to Digivolve, 5,000 power, very standard. Although it is worth noting that just like Vmon, though it is a red Digimon, it can Digivolve from purple. It's not a purple Digimon, but it can Digivolve from purple, which gives you a bunch of extra options, and this is good. And when Digivolving, you can choose one of the following things. You may evolve one of your other Digimon in play into a purple Digimon with three in its traits from your trash by paying its evolution cost. Now, there's two things going on here. Firstly, you're evolving from the trash. And remember that Vmon's skill lets you discard one of those Digimon with three in its traits to draw two cards. So if you work this together, you trash with Vmon, draw two cards, then evolve with Flaredramon, that is Redonk. And also, any of your Digimon can Digivolve into a purple Digimon with three in its traits, even if they're not purple. That's really, really good. Or, you can Jogress Evolve this Digimon with another of your Digimon in play into a Digimon card in your hand. Which, again, is clearly very, very good. It means you can Jogress Evolve as you Digivolve, which is really nice. And then as an inheritable skill at the end of your turn, you may Jogress evolve this Digimon with another of your Digimon in play into a Digimon card in your hand, which I really like. Being able to Jogress evolve when it's the end of your turn and you shouldn't normally be able to, this is good. I love the evolution skill here when combined with Vmon, the idea of trashing a card to draw two and then immediately being able to Digivolve and cheat up, I think is brilliant and I love it. And I'm a fan, and this is really, really good. But we've got more. We've got Pale Dramon. Now, Pale Dramon is the first time in this line we get to a proper dual color red and purple Digimon, which is good. We were clearly heading there, and now we've gone and got there. And we've got an 8 cost to play normally, 4 cost to Digivolve, 8,000 power. The 8 cost and the 8,000 power is high, but not ridiculously so. But the, I'll be honest with you, the 4 cost to Digivolve is high. Generally, level 5s and 6s evolve for a 3 cost. 
Four cost and involve is high. There's not much of a way around it. Sorry about that. But is it worth it? Well, what we've got here is Joe Gress Evolve, a red and purple level four for zero cost. Nice. Take a red level four and a purple level four, mash them together, don't pay anything, get all the inheritable skills. This is very nice. We've actually seen Pale Jamon be really good with Joe Gress Evolution as it is. We've already seen that. We've seen it be good. We've seen the one that came around in the recent starter deck, the Imperial Demon starter deck. Both Dino Beamon and Pale Demon have Jogress Evolution and are proven to be really, really good. So it's coming back again, and that's brilliant. When did you evolving? If you Jogress did evolved, you can play a card named Dino Beamon from your trash for free. Now, one thing that is a little bit sad, we've not been shown Dino Beamon. It is fair to assume that there will be a Dino Beam on in the set that is red and purple, but we've not actually seen it yet. For what it's worth, we do have the Dino Beam on from BT3 with piercing and jamming. And we have the Dino Beam on from EX1 that's got an inheritable skill that says when one of your Digimon with Imperial Demon in its name deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, you gain a memory. The Digivolution skill here is irrelevant because we're not Digivolving. And then you've got the aforementioned Dino Beamon that again has a Digivolution skill. But on your turn, this Digimon gains a thousand power for each of its colours. And because we're rocking dual colour cards here, you can assume that's probably going to be two colours and an extra 2,000 power combined with the other boosts we've seen is actually pretty nice. So even though we can't see the new Dino Beamon and that's very sad, etc. There are a couple of other Dino Beamon around, free to be precise that we can take advantage of. So that is kind of interesting. We like this. This is good. And yeah, playing a card for free is obviously a good thing. So you Drogress Evolve and then play a Dino Beamon from your trash. And remember, Dino Beamon will have free in its traits, which means you can trash it using Beamon to draw two cards and then play it for free with Peldramon when you Drogress Evolve. This is all working kind of beautifully. Then on deletion, you can play a Vemon from your trash without paying. And there are a billion Vemon around, but clearly we're thinking of this new Vemon that you then, and it doesn't say you don't get the play skill. Remember the rule. If it doesn't say you don't get the play skill, you get the play skill. So here you could trash a free card and draw two cards, which is great. And then as an inheritable skill, if this card has Imperial Demon in its name, you gain security attack plus one. Bearing in mind you're probably boosting the power quite a lot as well. This is great. Everything we're seeing here is great and really, really nice. We've got Jogress Evolution. We're drawing cards. We've got ways to play multiple Digimon for free. It's just really, really good. It, as an interesting side note with Peldramon, remember the on-deletion skill is not an inheritable skill, so you have to be deleted without Digivolving to play the Vemon for free. Think of it as a consolation prize rather than something you're necessarily aiming for. And then we get Imperial Jamon Dragon Mode. Now this can Jogress evolve from a purple level 5 and a red level 5, bearing in mind that something like uh, Pale Jamon counts as both, so you can Jogress evolve into Pale Jamon, and I'm assuming Dino Beamon's going to have that as well. Or you can Jogress Evolve into two different Pale Dramon, And then Jogress Evolve those into this to have a gigantic stack with a redonk amount of inheritable skills. And it is actually worth noting, if you Jogress Evolve two Pale Dramon together, you will get security attack plus two, which is clearly good. Oh, I should say, 12 cost to play normally, 4 cost to did evolve, 12,000 power. Slightly on the high end for the evolution, but nothing crazy. And again, you really want to be jogressing this rather than anything else. And it's a proper dual color purple and red. Then we've got a skill when digivolving. If you jogress evolved, your opponent chooses one of their Digimon. Delete all of your opponent's Digimon other than that chosen Digimon. And then blitz. Which is to say you can attack and then blitz. That's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous because you should have security attack plus two you should be hyper crazy powerful and now you're deleting all of your opponent's digimon other than one okay they get to choose the one that stays but still 
And then when attacking once per turn, you gain 2,000 power for the turn, just in case you needed any more. And this Digimon can evolve into Imperial Digimon Fighter Mode in your hand, though you do have to pay the evolution cost. Now again, there probably is a Fighter Mode in the set. We've not seen it, but we have seen the one from BT8. That when Digivolving returns one of your opponent's Digimon with 10,000 power or less to their hand. Bearing in mind, if the Digimon they've chosen to save has 10,000 power or less, this will completely wipe their board. And then when attacking once per turn, if a blue card's in your evolution sources, unsuspend one of your Digimon. If a green card is in your evolution sources, suspend one of your opponents. Honestly, this one is not a great option. Because your opponent's going to try and save a Digimon probably with more than 10,000. And you're not going to have blue or green evolution sources. So basically, this is waiting for the fighter mode in this particular set. Which we'll see at some point. And when it's shown, I will obviously show it to you, tell you all about it, etc. For now, even though we've not seen your Dino Beamon... And even though we've not seen Imperial Digimon Fighter Mode, the four cards we have seen are enough to convince me this is really, really good. Drawing cards, Jogos Evolution, playing for free, wiping all but one of your opponent's Digimon. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Not to mention all the Evolution shenanigans. There is a lot here to get very, very excited about. And might I suggest you get very, very excited about it. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about all of this. So let me know in the comment section. Go us. Be nice. <laughs> Tiny beam on. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash PTCG radio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching. Wassy plays.